is me, Darak Fex. I'm dreaming. But tell me, if this is all just a dream, why am I running so fast? Breathe, concentrate, readjust yourself. It was the war. Distract your mind, Derek. Tell me about Chiang. The slum planet. Yes. What happened there? Derek Fix, what brings you outside of town? I heard you guys have been misbehaving. Gold sent me to teach you a lesson. It seems that you're not taking us seriously, Fix. Should I be? Yes. Was that your first kill? Yeah. How did you feel? I'm not gonna lie, I felt powerful. I felt good. But it shocked you. Yeah. It did. My name is Tom Scott. I work for Delta. Who? Galtek is the most powerful man in the Sultan Cluster. He's got a job going. I'm listening. He wants someone dead. I don't kill people. But for a bit of coin, you'll happily break bones, amputate, traumatize, and interest in moral complex, don't you think? Glad you think so. I heard about how you took out that thug. One shot. That was an exception. It was self-defense. It was a good kill. Want to know about the target? I can probably guess. Someone who married his daughter, botched a deal, screwed your guy over. He's killed people, Derek. Innocent people under Galtek's protection. He's butchered children, for heaven's sake. This guy's so evil. If you take this job, I can guarantee you a good night's sleep after it's done. What's the pay? A red teleport. Expensive. Big reward for such a small job. Well, this is an opportunity to go further. Not just beyond this planet, but beyond this entire solar system. You sound like a Star Voyage brochure. <laughs> they work, don't they? I have questions. Where do I find him? A small forest moon, Crimson Rock. Is there a problem? No, no. What were you saying? The moon's completely uninhabited. Just you and him. What are the coordinates? They're programmed into the teleport. I've added mine into the device as well. And the target? What's his name? Dario Silva. Hunting a child murderer. I should have been scared, but I wasn't. I killed a man. I was unstoppable. It's here. So you're a young aspiring mercenary with blood on your hands who has dreams about a future war. Basically. But there's got to be something else, a backstory. Who are your parents? My parents were bad people, like everyone else I know. Did you leave them? Yeah, I ran away to Chiang when I was 13 years old. Been there ever since. Why am I talking to you? We're socialising, Derek. You're him. 
an injection of xenofluoride. This is why I feel like this. Tell me more of your story. How did you get here? But you know, you know the rest. But I find your interpretation far more entertaining. Surrounding myself with life detection devices. Yes, I was particularly impressed with that. I made a fort. Thought I'd twist your hand. You were close. I sat by the river, hoping you'd get restless and attack me. I had food, water, everything I needed to survive. But waiting, thought it'd be easy. Turns out it could be just as bad as starving. I knew Tolscar was giving me an opportunity to work with him further. I wanted it, but I didn't want to wait for it. Ship's navigational system. Tree one. Or five. <laughs> That's how many days we've been here. Yolton is dead. Sorry. I'd better start from the beginning. We were sent to kill a man. A murderer. We owed a debt to Galtech. Messed up a tax fraud scheme. It fell through. Personal information got out. To make up for it, he sent us here. We were briefed by a toll scar. He stressed how easy the contract was, so we got to work. Came to this planet by transporter, but our ship had been sabotaged. The engine packed up as soon as we landed. I'm currently uh, tied to a tree. Half an ounce of blood drained from my body. He's feeding on me. I was told to make this. He wants you to hear. He wants you to be afraid. Because if you're listening, if you're hearing this, I'm dead. You're his next target. Come out now. Come out and kill me. Come on. Come out and kill me. Would you like that? Don't 
don't struggle, please. Derek Fex! Sorry, I don't take pleasure in scaring people. You know my name? I searched your belongings. I don't mean to be so intrusive, but I needed a bit of background. We'll be together for a while. Why do you do this to people? Right, let me explain this straight away. I crave blood. I need it to survive. You're going to be my donor. Galtech wants you dead. He sent you here to me. I haven't met Galtech. I hadn't even heard of him until I met Tolskar. Cheyang. I've heard of it. Not even listed in the Law's map of the outer galaxies. Why would Tolskar travel there? Plenty of other planets filled with experienced mercenaries, did you not think? No. It's sad. You were so determined to get off that planet that you took a job without hesitation. No knowledge of the employer. This here is Zen Fluoride. It completely eliminates stress. I'll inject you with this regularly. Why'd you wear the helmet? Mark of respect. Cloth blades remain inside their own clans. I take it you defected? Yes, but I still respect the code. That's good. You still want me to tell the story? You can rest it now. The drug's wearing off. I'm starting to feel resentful. I'll get you another shot cooked up. I'll have to do another transfusion soon. Been tied to this tree for a day now. Time will drag as the process continues. How long have you been here? A long time. How long? Galtech helped me hunt down a few names. I paid him, thought the deal was done, but then he tricked me. Imprisoned me here. I'm forced to kill his enemies. They keep me alive. You still haven't answered my question. Eighty years. I've had a great deal of people tied to that tree. Most of them unpleasant. Some of them alright, but you. There's something about you, Derek Fex. You're special. Huh. Bet you say that to all your victims. No. I tend to wander by myself quite regularly in the woods, so if you have some alone time, feel free to use this. Four weeks. That's how long I've been tied to this tree. He kept me alive. I'm fed. My injuries attended to. Dario stops me from getting sores on my skin. My vision is slowly becoming hazier and my senses weaker. I feel as though I'm experiencing a very slow failure. I'm fading away. When you're with someone like Dario for a long time, isolated, tortured. Your morality becomes distorted. He was killing me. I had to keep reminding myself. As for advice, I don't have any. Perhaps shooting yourself in the head would be the best thing to do. Not long left now. Galtech will be sending someone else here soon. Who did you lose? What? The person holding you back. How did you lose them? Let me tell you a story about a snow-covered wasteland. I knew someone once. We walked through that snow for days. I couldn't help myself. Your armour, Viroplexium, strong but basic, mass-produced. You're a soldier, aren't you? <laughs> Impressive set of sensors, I'm usually undetectable.
against them. From the war, I fight these soldiers. What's, what's going on? Some form of military invasion. Luckily, I picked up this teleporter from one of them. Let's get out of here. Dream. Sorry to wake you. Keeping yourself fed? This hospital had a nice collection of blood samples. Yeah, I heard half the supply went. Six weeks since I dropped you off here, how are you holding up? I feel alive. Been a while. And I take it you plan to hunt down Galtek, find out why he wants you dead? I'm off his radar. I'll train myself up and then... I don't know. You have potential, Darek. Take this. I'll look out for you, Fex. Dario, after what you did to me, after you violated me, if I had a gun in my hand right now, pointed at your head, I'd pull the trigger. Goodbye. <laughs>